something with um, that we saw the sheet of the Riyazake, right? That you can't have Safek Echad Beguf, the Safek Echad Beta'arovet. Yeah? So, from the Rashba, it was Mashma, that it was an issue of time, right? Asar Takvar, I use that language. So the, the idea was that once you say, once you close the book on the Suffolk, is once you decided, once the Suffolk stood by itself, you had a Suffolk trefa. I decided about this trefa that it's Usr, so I'm not going to be Mati when I have another Suffolk because I already decided, already decided, meaning in the, there's a time issue here, okay? So that's, um, that's one way of understanding it. And that, if you look in the Taz, Kuf Yud, Sif Katan Yud Gimel, okay? Um, he says, Ra'iti b'seif in it pas mechadash, okay? He says, Lavi Raya, de le ri, ain isur b'sfeik sfeika, sheno, I mean, the Taz in Yud Gimel. Yud Gimel. Kuf Yud, Yud Gimel in the Taz. It's, it's, it, it's right next to, it's right where the Dine Sfix Vegas start. In the, in the Shach. Uh, Reish Chach Bet. Right okay. at the top. Ready to be safe at the cross. Yeah? It just on the previous page it is. Okay. Okay, La Havira Ya. The Lari ain't isur b'sfeik sfeik a she'eno beguf echad, ella hasafik echad begufo v'asheni al yidei ta'arovet, ella b'dafka b'noda b'in time, that the ri hazaken only said his shita that you don't say sfeik sfeik in safik echad beguf a safik echad b'ta'arovet, right? You only don't say sfeik sfeik if it was noda b'in time. This issue of time, that you had a suffix trefa, you found out that it's a suffix trefa, you paskin sveka do right to and now that suffix trefa fell into a tarovet. That is the case where you don't say suffix echad begufa, suffix echad be tarovet. Right? And he makes the deek on the Rashba. Mima shekatava Rashba, he view Beit Yosef, etc. Dehech ata omer, and vizel shono, dehech ata omer, shemelo zehu. The im tim tzalomar zehu shemo to safek mutar haya v'halo kvar asarto. We saw that in the Rashi himself. It is an accurate quote. V'halo kvar asarto mi safek shen afal begufo v'achar she asarto after you answered it hech ata chozer umatiro ad kan l'shono after before right it has to do with time ad kan l'shono uritzono lomar. This is the Taz, um, the Taz speaking. Me'achar she'kvar haya noda v'ne'esar kodem shenit arev. Ha'im lo noda v'ne'esar kodem shenit arev. Sharina mishum sveik sveika. Okay, that's what, uh, that's the diuk that was made in the Rashba. Okay, and he says about that, the lo nehira la'ani yudati. He's cholik on that. Okay, and the shach also, Okay, actually, the Taz at the end, just first of the Ain Ritzono Lomar, so what the Rashba, the Dafka Im No Da Bein Taim Asur. Okay? And the Shach also, in the first Klal of Klal Sveik Sveika. Why does it appear in the Rashba? What? Why, why does it appear in the Hold on one second. Let's just get the facts down. Lo Mikri Sveik Sveika, Ot Samach Gimel, right? Which is the first Klal of Klal Sveik Sveika. It says, Lo mikri sveik sveika, if it's echad beguf echad betarovet. It says, Afilu lo no da safeik harishon, rak ad achar shenit arev. Okay? It says, Beferish cholek. Kigon shenit arvu kama beitzim biyachad, v'achak ach no da safeik trefot betar negolet. V'no da she beitza achat, hi mimena shehitila, acha sheira la ha safeik trefot. V'chein kol kayotze bazen. Okay? 
Lo havi sveik sveika. Okay? In other words, since I decide theoretically, it's, I don't need practically to decide the suffix and close the door on it in order to obviate the possibility of sveik sveika. It is sufficient that conceptually there are two different sveikot that cannot be joined together. Even though now I just found out about it now and both sveikot were no do biyachad, but since one suffix is in the guf and one suffix is in the tarovet, it doesn't mix and match. I decide, now I'm looking back and I say, okay, this suffix is l'chumra, I'm finished. Even though it's only nolad now, the suffix. Okay? So that's a machloket. Rashba is... Look, it's a machloket even within the Rashba. If you ask Rashba me what I think about the Rashba, uh-huh. okay. right? But the Taz and the Shach reject this temporal. The, right, and the Taz actually gets into it and says, no, the Rashba didn't say that, and why he thinks the Rashba didn't say that. It seems okay? to me that the Shach just objects in principle to the idea of Sveik and he writes a very long... No, you mean so in, in the case of the, of the Riyazake, you mean? Does he let any Sveik as the Shach? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not... Let, we can't, like... Do that. <laughs> we can't do that. No. All right. You, okay. Let's take it step by step, okay? That's too much of a general question. Okay. Um, okay. So let's talk about um, not a Sveik Sveik in Tarovet, which we talked about last time. And not a sveik sveik, which is suffik echad beguf, suffik echad betarovet, which we talked about last time. We just finished. Okay, let's talk about the sveik sveik in masechet ketubot, which is a sveik sveik beguf. Okay, the case there is um, suffik beones, suffik berotzo, and suffik tachtav, suffik eno tachtav. Right. We, Doesn't yeah. matter. That's part of the issue, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Okay. Suffik echad shtei sveiko. No, it doesn't. Shtei sveikot beguf. Suffik tachtav. Suffik ena tachtav. Suffik baones. Suffik beratzam. Okay. Where let's keep let's keep it straight here. There are four possibilities. I draw this out. There are four possibilities. This is going to be helpful later. So I just want to spell it out now. Okay. There's a there's a grid. Okay. Which will say it's, we'll call it Tachtav, Eino Tachtav, Ones, Ratzam. Okay, I'll show it to you in a second. So, Tachtav, okay, I'll show it to you now. Okay, can, you, can everybody see? I'm sorry, but I should tell you. Tachtav, Tachtav, Eino Tachtav, and Ones and Ratzam. Yeah? There are four possible cases. It could be, right, what is it? Should we just spell out the issue? She was. Mu'ureset. And let's assume that there was a petach patuach. Okay? And assume that the petach patuach means there's bia. Make all those assumptions because we're not learning Masechet to both now where all these questions are looked at more closely. Okay? So, she's definitely niv'ala. That's not, we're not raising that as an issue. Okay? So, when did it happen? If it happened tachtav, in other words, after the kiddushin, then she's asu, then that's potentially an a situation which is asura, right? But if it was, even if it was tachtav, but if it was ba'ones, so she's not ne'eseret. Okay? So, ones, tachtav, she's muteret. That's the check. Okay? Ones, tachtav, she's muteret. Okay? Ones, ain't a tachtav, she's certainly muteret. Okay. Ratzon, Ratzon, Tachtav, okay, that is your bad case. She's Asura, okay, and Ratzon, but Eino Tachtav, she's Muteret, right? We're not going to give her Mafta Yona, but she's Muteret, okay? <laughs> Even if we would give her Mafta Yona otherwise, okay? We're working on that part, but anyway. <laughs> so. All right. So we have four po- four possibilities. We think it's not nice. What? 
No. no. Just, yeah, it takes a okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> Aina, Aina, we will give him an update on it. <laughs> we want to talk about her relationship. Okay. <laughs> I've, give me something. Mafti Yona is relate someone as a person, as an object. Okay. Now, give me a break. Um, <laughs> what about us? No. We have to read this Quiet. All right, look. <laughs> so we have four possibilities, right? Enotachtov be. I have to read the be ones. She's muteret. Tachtov be ones. She's muteret. Enotachtov rotzon doesn't matter. She's muteret. She's only a sura in one of the four cases. If it's tachtov be rotzon. Okay? That's a sveik sveik. That, the Gemara says, is a good sveik sveik. Okay? Good. Tosfot, one second, let's take, ask the following question. Hold on. Tosfot in Ketubot, on Daftet Amr Aleph. Okay? All right, so the Gemara says, Gemara says the case. Ibayit Ema Be'eshet Yisrael the Kabil Ba'avia Kiddushin Pechutami Bat Gimel Shana. Okay? So what's the case where there's only one suffix? The Gemara has to eliminate one suffix in order to say why she should be Asura. Okay? So one possibility is she's a Bat Yisrael, but there's no situation of Eino Tachtav because she's Mekudeshet from, from, from the time before she was three. So if there was Bia before she was three, the Betulim would be Chose, right? And it would be a very... And that, wouldn't, that would not answer her, okay? Because it wouldn't, it wouldn't be considered Bia, okay? So, we'll say that, so there's no issue of, of Eino Tachtav. It has to be Tachtav, okay? So therefore, you only have one suffix, whether it's Ba'ones or Ba'ratzon. But it was definitely, whatever happened, happened when, after the Kiddushin. So Tosot asks, but there's still a Sveik Sveika. The Imtomar Kati Ika Sveik Sveika. Right? What's a Sveik Sveika? Suffolk, but only Suffolk, but Ratzon. Okay? That's your one Suffolk. The Im Tim Tzaloma, but Ratzon. Suffolk, Keshik Tana. Now she's a Gdola. Right? The, the, the Kiddushin was when she, before she was three. Now she grew up, but they, he wasn't Kones. Right? They didn't get married yet. They were very civilized. They waited till she was 13, 14, right? Okay, okay. So they waited till she reached majority so that they could get married. So now, but you, so now you want to know, was the beer when she was a katana or was the beer when she was a gadola, right? It's still a suffix. Suffix she katana, upitui katana ones. The, the status of the beer, even if she did it volitionally, Halachically, it's considered ones, and she's not neaseret, right? Kedamrina, yes. right? So, so therefore, if you still have a sveik sveika. It's suffake, Let's spell it out. Suffek, the bia was with volition. Suffek, it wasn't with volition. Okay, I'm doing this in English on purpose. And even if it was volitional, maybe it has a halacha of ones still. Okay? So there's your Sveik Sveika. Suffolk, Ones, Suffolk, Ratzon. And Ones, Ratzon is, not, is now not a halachic description, but a Metzius description. Was it done free will, freely or not? Right? A, a Katan and a Katana also do things freely and not freely. What the legal status is of that is a separate question. But there's certainly... Doing it freely and so not doing it freely, right? Statutory rape, right? It's considered an ones, even though it was done freely, okay? So when now he's, Tosis is, is subtly changing the meaning of what ones and ratzon mean, me, right? Before, ones and ratzon, we just about the halachic status. Ones and ratzon, we didn't even make the distinction between what happened in the mitziot and what the halacha is. So now he's saying, wait one second. There's ones and ratzon in terms of what happened, and then there's ones and ratzon halachically. So Onus Ratzon is, maybe it was Onus Ratzon, and even if it was Beratzon, maybe it's, that Ratzon still had a halacha of Onus. So that's a Sveik Sveika. So what's his answer? This is very important. The Yesh Lomar, the shame Onus Chadhu. You're just confusing the issue, Tosot says. You can, you can artificially fabricate many questions. But the, but the, the bottom line is, that it's really one suffix. 
Your one suffix is, is it onus or ratzah? You can say, is it onus on Tuesday or is it onus on Wednesday? What difference does it make? The question is whether it was onus or ratzah. Onus, it's not a significant difference. Was it onus because it was against her will or was it onus because she was a ketana? So what? It's still one suffix. Shame onus chadhu. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right. So that's Tosos' answer. Now what that, what that means is, really, in shame onus chadhu, is what appears to be, let's do this in the terms of the matrix, okay, that we had. So it's going to be like this. Ones ratzon. I'm going to do ktana, which in parentheses is ones. And, and, and gedola. Okay? So he said, let's work it out, okay? See that, the bottom? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right? So, if it was Ones, Ketana, so she's Muteret. If it was Ratzon, Ketana, she's Muteret. But that's basically Ones, right? Okay, so we're going to put that in parentheses and we'll see what we do with that. If she's a Gdola, so if it was Ones, she's Muteret. And if it was Ratzon, she's Asura. So it looks like the same thing. That's Tosus's question. What's Tosus's answer? Is this case is really muteret because it's ones, right? So these um, these two cases. One second, ones. Right, the top two cases are really one case. Well, the truth is, all these three cases are really one case. So it looks like three out of four is in fact one out of two. Okay? So all, right? So these three cases, what I, the ones I circled, okay? The ones I circled are really one case. So the, the first case is three out of four. This case is one out of two. One out of two, shame on eschadhu. Right? One out of two means that's a suffix and not a sveik sveik. Okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Now, let's take a look. There's a different answer to this. We have to figure what, out what it means. Look at the next toast vote. Actually, the Gemara here and the toast vote the, um, as we continue. The Gemara on to both on Daf Tet Amud Bet, right? Right after the Tosot that I just read to you, okay? Amar Abaye, right? The Gemara said that Omer Petach Patuk Matzati Neeman Lo Osra Alav. Right? That was the Gemara on Daf Tet Amud Alav, okay? So Abaye, that's Amar Rabbi Elazar, I think, okay? Then it says, Amar Abaye, Af Ananami Tnina. Right? I agree with this and I also could prove this from the Mishnah in the beginning of Masachet Ketubot on Daf Bet. B'duhlani Seit Liyom Rivi'i. Okay, liyom revi'i in liyom chamishi lo. Right? Why they? Why did Chacham make a takana that Betulani say liyom revi'i? My tama mishumi kure daita. Because we want that if he finds a petach patuach, he should go to Beit in the next morning. And Beit sits on yom chamishi. So if but they get married on yom chamishi, they have be on motzei chamishi. Right? The next time Beit sits is Monday. So he's going to calm down. So we don't want him to calm down if she's Asura Allah. Right? So we say, And for what, why are we concerned about a Kure Daita? If we're talking about giving her the Ksuba, and we want, why should we care? If he wants to be Marcha Ksuba, it's his money. So let him not go to Beiti. Right? Lamai. What are we concerned about? Ilam Meitav Laktuba. Neitav La. Gesundte Heit. If he wants to give the ksuba even though she was mezana, that's his business. Okay? Elal osra alav. So what do we see from here? That the husband, by, time, by being toein, petach patuach, is neeman la osra alav. And that's, and, and that's why chachamim umetakein that the betulani seit, liyom rivi'i. So that that possibility should exist. If he wasn't neeman anyway, so you don't want you don't make a takana that you go to Bezdin that Bezdin should then throw him out, 
Because you make a takana that he should go to Beitin because he would believe, he believed in Beitin and you're afraid that he's not going to go. And you want him to go if there's a problem. Okay? See that? Okay, it's just shot in the Gemara in two boats. Okay? What? That's it's not difficult in the pshat, right? Okay. Okay, fine. Well, let's get past it. No, okay. I actually think that it's very important not to get past no. it. <laughs> it's a separate... one, you haven't once said that this is a pretty difficult text. You've chosen to just teach it like every single other text that you can teach. Because I'm interested in the in the sveik sveika aspect know, of it. I know, but that's and... the problem with these texts that everyone just teaches them like every other text. So maybe in this room we could all assume that we understand. But in certain communities, when you just teach them like this, the subtle ideas that are in these texts go into people's brains Agreed. and affect how they tra- treat other people. Okay. And these are really difficult texts. So I understand. Even you and even us, if you had just said one sentence at the beginning, all the women wouldn't be making these comments under them. Okay. Breath. Aren't you worried so, about your son? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not worried about my son because I talk to him all the time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so let us know. Okay, let me fine. Know. It's just, these, yeah. these are such offensive texts. I understand. And every I agree. aspect of them. It's true. And it's like the women are guilty until, like, there's an yes, assumption so what he here says that they're, they're guilty until proven innocent. Like, every woman, betula, is really becheskat, no betula. It's terrible. Well, so that's part of actually what Tosas asked. So how do we know that we can rely on what he's saying, right? Yeah. But the, but there are more fundamental problems. We won't get into what the fundamental problems are. It's Let's just, say, it's, but it's, why it's, should? All I'm saying, with Pepper, and yeah. I know you're annoyed that I'm saying this, but I'm, really, <laughs> I'm only saying because I really believe it's important that even in this scenario, even when we know you're one of the good guys, that is important <laughs> Thank you. before teaching the rest of them. This right. text is different than when we looked at any other text. Okay. And it's worth just stating it. So okay. Amen. Is that good enough? Good. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right. No, but, but fine. I accept what you said. Okay. All right. Ilamate of Laktuba. Okay. Mashma. Are you with me in the Tosfot? Im haya balabating. Haya neeman lafsida ktubata. Whereas the Gemara says in passing, Lamai, what are we concerned about? Ilamate of Laktuba. So let him give. But it's mashma that if he claimed that she wasn't a betula, not only would the, there's the issue of la alav, which the Gemara is concerned about, but derech aga from the Gemara's throwaway, mm-hmm. if we do exuba, so let it be Michael. But it's mashma that if he wasn't mochel, that he would be neeman to cause her to lose the ketuba as well. Okay. Afalpi shela osra alav lo haya neeman. That's the que- That's where the Gemara is sort of playing with right now. If the Ksuba, like I'm not talking about that, that's for sure. Right? That means he would be Ne'eman. The Chiddush is that he's Ne'eman la Osra alav. So that means it's easier, the husband is, would be more Ne'eman in the Dine Mamanot case than in the Ishut case, in the Isser case. That's interest to pay less. Right? What? I'll make the claim, I can still be married, right? I just have to pay her less. Like, why no, not pay her less. You, the ketubah is when you divorce her. Yeah, then you're not married. You divorce her and then you have to pay the ketubah. but I don't, I could divorce her in five years. If she's All right, okay. Lie, meaning, so here's someone who's finding, it's his financial incentive to make the claim, have her not be us, sir. And then... Uh, so the question is why he's, why he's Naaman, because there, there's a... So, hold on, let, let's get it, hold on. Let's just continue, get the case here. Because he's going to construct the sveik sveik. What? She's not a and I'm going to pay a half no, Neman, that's, that's a separate issue. If she was Mizana, then she loses the entire Ksuba. If it just turns out, right, that she was a, a Bu'ula, and he thought she was a Betula, so that's a question of whether it's a Mekach Ta'ut of Mimatayim, or it's a Mekach Ta'ut of Meyameya. That's a whole sugya. Again, we're not learning Masachat Ketubot, right? So what the Ta'ut is from, Ta'ut Mimatayim or Ta'ut Mimea, okay? okay? But right now, you just talking about Lahafsid Ketuba as a Mizana, she would lose everything, Okay? Why? So why? So this is the case that Tosfot has to create that she would be muteret that he wouldn't be neeman la osra alav, but he would be neeman la hafsidak tubata. Why should we draw a distinction? 
right? That in the financial, it's like, remember OJ's trial? He was exonerated of the crime, but then he had to pay damages because for doing the crime. You know, there are different levels of determining the same question. The question has ramifications in different areas. So it has, Rachel, listen, it has ramifications in Isra Veheter, and also has ramifications in Dine Mamanos. So because there may be different rules in dealing with Isra Veheter than dealing with Dine Mamanot, you can have the same case play itself out differently in different areas of law. Okay? So what's he, what's he saying here? That it could be she would be Muteret, but he would still be Ne'eman Laf Sidak How would that be? The itlan the neymar the shema eno baki be petach patuach. Right now he's raising the question. He says petach patuach. When we said this fake sfeker before, suffik ona suffik ratzon shef tach suf eno tachtav. So we were assuming that he knew what was he was talking about. Now he's saying one second. He's saying petach patuach, but maybe he's mistaken, right? I mean eno baki petach patuach. The okma be cheskat heter. She has a cheskat heter le baala. Okay, so therefore you have the cheskat heter, which answers the question of the sfeik sfeika, and she should be muteret. Ava mikom akom to batayef sida, afal pi she yesh na lomar shu toe be petach patuach. Why? Why? Here's the sfeik sfeika. Sveik Sveika, Suffolk Bucky, Suffolk, he's time Petach Patua. Sveik Sveika, Suffolk Bucky, Suffolk Eno Bucky. Right? In other words, Suffolk Petach, he says Petach Patua. But Suffolk Petach Patua, Suffolk Eno Petach Patua. That's one Suffolk. Right? And then, Afilu Imtim Tseloma Petach Patua, Suffolk Baona, Suffolk Buratza. Yeah? Okay. So why don't you say that's fake sveika, that she shouldn't lose the ksuba? Right? It's a fake sveika whether she lose the ksuba. Suffolk baki, suffolk eno baki. And she doesn't lose the ksuba if it was ba'ones. Right? Because the cheskat, he has a cheskat mamon. So even though there's a fake sveika, the tovata, but he has a cheskat mamon. So what happens when you have a cheskat mamon against the sveik sveika? Okay? Why isn't, this is a purely halakhic thing, why isn't it like the case that we talked about of the shokhti? So why isn't it, why don't you say chazaka, that most people shouldn't be baki in petach patuach, versus sveik sveika shabbat is baki and is not? Let's just, in, I just want to get some principles here. Why you'd say that, maybe you'd say that, and, right? Okay. The kashe, the amayim of sidak to bata, the ha have a sveik sveika, suffek ihu baki be petak patuach, im lav. Listen, the im timtseloma petak patuach hava, suffek be ones, suffek be rotsam. Okay? The ain lomar da feel be sveik sveika of sidak to bata, mishum de mokmina mamona be cheskate. Because you don't say that, okay? Why we don't say that, I'm not getting into. So he's saying, we you're stuck. Saying he's saying, you don't say that the cheskat mamon that the husband has will, should help against the sveik sveika. She has a sveik sveika on her side, right? Because maybe he knows what he's talking about, maybe he doesn't know what he's talking about. And even if he knows what he's talking about, it's still suffix on a suffix ratzon, and that's something he has no knowledge of, okay? So he says, petach patuach. So we say, maybe that means it's a petach patuach, maybe it doesn't. And even if it does, it's suffix on a suffix ratzon. Okay, so for that reason, she shouldn't lose the ketuba. So, but why does the Gemara assume? The Gemara seems to assume as a throwaway. Yeah, of course she, she, he's in their man to be mafsid or the ketuba. Okay, and it, you can't say it's because of cheskat mamon. The truth is, you can, and then you can you can argue about that. But I'm not interested in getting into the discussion first about whether you say cheskat mamon against the sveik sveika. One. Two, whether you say chazaka in general against a sveik sveika, because cheskat mamon is not necessarily like any other chazaka. Mm -hmm. Two, I'm just telling you why I'm not talking about this. Okay? And, what the cheskat mamon is? What is the cheskat? Oh, okay. And three, whether the Baal relation to the ketubah, whether he's considered to have the cheskat mamon. No. Okay? That's another thing. Okay? <laughs> the cheskat mamon is hamotzi mechaver olav If I say that that shirt is mine, 
Right? I have to prove it. Okay? Because he's muhzak. Okay? So the burden of proof is always upon the claimant. Okay? So what, if you see here, if they're getting if they're gonna get divorced, she's claiming the ksuba. So he has the cheskat mamon. The money is in my bank account. If you want to take it out, you have to prove that it that it's coming to you. So that's the cheskat mamon. But isn't, isn't right? the fact that she has the tuba already proven that it's coming to her? Um, so that that is that so that's so now you're questioning. That I said there are three issues here: the general issue of a fake fake against chazaka. That's one thing. Then there's fake fake against cheskat mamon, which is not the same question as a, as a, as a regular chazaka. And question number three is who really has the cheskat mamon here? That's the question you're raising. Okay. We're not going to solve that question. It's a big machlok that we've shown him in the end of the first parak. As I remember. I'm talking 30 years ago. There's a Rimigash that talks about, about it. I think he says the Cheskat Mamon is the, the woman has the Cheskat Mamon for the reason that you said. But the question is what the, whether the, whether the um, financial obligation is embodied in the Shtar. She has the Shtar, maybe she has the Cheskat Mamon, but the Shtar is just the proof, but he still has the Cheskat Mamon. Mm-hmm. Okay? Anyway, I don't want to talk about any of that. What I do want to talk about is what the Tosot Yeshanim say with regards to this fake fake, I want to analyze this fake fake. Okay, the suffix bucky suffix ain't no bucky suffix baones suffix baratza. Do we think that that should be a good fake fake? Okay, so look what the Tosot Yishanim says. Okay, that's printed on the side here. But Tosot Yishanim al hagilyon. Okay, v'yesh mefarshim the hachalo chashik fake fake the ain yicholim lehitapech. Velomar Bereisha Suffolk Baonis Suffolk Beratzon the Imtim Tzalomar Beratzon Suffolk Bucky Suffolk Eno Bucky Ulahachi Lo Chashiv El Echad Asfeka. You got that? Uh, let me explain what he says. This is very important. It's called a Sfek Sfeka Hamitapech, or Sfek Sfeka Sheena Mitap Sheeno Mitapech. He's saying. You, this is not a sfeik sfeika. Why? Because you can only ask it in one direction. You can say, suffik bucky, suffik eno bucky, and even if it's bucky, suffik baona, suffik baratzon. But you can't say, suffik baona, suffik baratzon, and, suff, and even if it's baratzon, maybe it never happened. Right? Notice, in suffik baona, suffik baratzon, you're already assuming that he's bucky. So the fake fake only goes in one direction. You can say, let's translate. What does Bucky mean? Right? Bucky means petach patuach. And Eno Bucky means petach satum. Right? So say it, translate it, so then you can see what it's talking about. Suffolk, the petach patuach, suffolk was satum. And even if it was patuach, suffolk ones, suffolk ratzum. Good. Suffolk ba'ones, what does ba'ones mean? Suffolk Petach niftach ba'ones, suffek niftach beratzon. Okay? And even if it was niftach beratzon, maybe it wasn't niftach. Right? Maybe ain't no baki, maybe it's a petach. You can't say that. So if you start from, from baki ain't no baki, you make it to a sveik sveika. Then if you start the other way, then you don't make it to a sveik sveika. Was this whole thing to get us to the sveik sveika hamitapech? Yes. And no? Okay, good. Right? I see the light. Okay, why I'm doing this case? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> the whole point is to understand this Tosot Yishanim. Okay? So Tosot Yishanim says that it's not considered Sfeik Sveika. Why? It would really be helpful if he spelled it out for us. Sfeik Baki Sfeik Eno Baki. Okay? Ulahachi lo chashiv ela chada sfeika. He's saying, if it's fake sfeika, she'eno mitapech, it's really only one safek. Because your question is really, nivala ba'ones or nivala b'ratzon. Right? And your first question is, was she nivala or not? Right? Because once you're willing to say ones and ratzon, you're already assuming nivala. So, so... So it's really one suffix. Okay? Um, now, 
It's not entirely true. It's not entirely true because it depends on where you start. Right? Let, let's talk about a different case of trefut, right? Which doesn't have all the moral, societal, all the problems, right? Not, not you have a lion, okay? That, and you have a sheep, right? And the sheep is in the barn. And you find... Um, and the sheep has some sort of wound. And you don't know if the lion did it or not. Okay? So your suffolk is like this. Suffolk, the lion, came to the farm. And suffolk, it didn't come to the farm. And even if it came, we're going to do Zeno's paradox. Okay, remember Zeno's paradox? Zeno's paradox is if I could go to the wall, I go halfway, and then go halfway, I get closer and closer, but I never get there, right? Okay, suffolk, the lion, came within 50 amos. Suffolk didn't come within 50 amos. Came, Suffolk didn't come within 50 amos. Suffolk came within 25 amos. Suffolk came within 25 amos. So I can make ein sof. Literally, this goes to infinity, right? I can make ein sof sveikot. Now, it's not metapech. I can't say Suffolk it came within 50, Suffolk within, came within 25, and even if it came within 25, maybe it was never here. Right? Maybe it never entered the, 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 the farm. Right? So it's Eino Metapech. Right? In that case, right? in that case, that would indicate that I'm just making up irrelevant Sveikot. Right? You can try to obscure the situation. Suffolk, this, suffolk, that, suffolk, this, suffolk, that. But it's really one suffolk. What's your suffolk? Did the lion do it? Right? Yeah. I don't care. It's not a significant question. Did it come within 25? Did it come within 12 and a half? Did it come within yeah. six and three quarters? Right? Or whatever. But, but here's right? really a question. Maybe the guy really is a schnook. Okay. So, all right. So now let's take a look at the shach. Klale sveik sveik. There are two shachs here. What? Can I ask a question? No. Not, not, hold on. Okay. Katav ba'agur. Out yud gimel. In the klale sveik sveik. Huh? Sveik sveik is shalot tuchal lo hafcho, lo hav a sveik sveik. Hadimyon. For example, shachat umatsa sakin pagum. Okay, sakin pagum is um, ikur and not shechita. So it's, the behema is a nevela if you shechted with a sakin pagum. But you don't know that you shechted with a sakin pagum. You found the sakin pagum after the shechita. So your question is as follows. The ika sveik sveik. Shema be'etzem ha'mafreket nifgam. The mafreket comes after the simanim. So if it's nifgam in the mafreket, in the backbone, then, it, then the behemoth is k'sheira, because it's shechted already. Okay? Shema be'etzem ha'mafreket nifgam. Im tim tzaloma sheno nifgam be'mafreket, shema be'miyut batra de siman nifgam. Now, the halacha is, assuming, we're not learning the shechita now, but assuming, so the halacha is that you only have to shech rov shayim. In a behemoth you have to shech rov shayim, and in an oaf you have to shech rov echad, because, of, because rubo kekula. Okay? Now that means if after you shechted rov of the simanim, it's called in the miut batra, in the last miut, in the last 49%, there's some psul that happens, in principle the behemoth should be kshera. Okay? Yeah. Because the shechita was already kshera, after 51% of the simanim. After 51% of both simanim. You got it? Okay. Once the behemoth is shechted, you can't passel it. Even if it's still alive. Okay? If you do shechita, you shoot the behemoth, it's still kshayra. Okay? <laughs> All right? Just, you can't, after the shechita is chal, l'cha'ora, you can't passel it. Okay, I'm saying l'chora because it's, nothing is pasha. But that's the assumption they're dealing with here. So now, what's my suffix? I have a sakin pagum. The question is, when did the pagam and the sakin happen? Did the pagam and the sakin happen in the miyut kama? During the, before or during the shechita? In which case the shechita is psula and the behem is in avela? Or did it happen in the mafreket? If it happened in the mafreket, so then the behem is kshera. And you tell me, even if it didn't happen in the mafreket, Maybe it happened in the Miyud Batra. And then it's still a good Shechita. So, 
can you make that into, can you be mahapech, that's fake sveika? Suffolk, it happened in the Miut Batra. Suffolk, it happened in the Miut Kama. And even if it happened in the Miut Kama, maybe it only happened in the Bafra. Okay, so you, you don't have that, right? Okay, so that's his dogma. This Zeh Saf Sveik Sveik, a lot to Chala Foch, will Omar Shema be Miut Batra Nifgam, the Imtim Salomar Shalom Nifgam be Miut Batra, El be Miut Kama. In Kain Vadai Nevela, Velo to Chalomar Shema be Miut Batra Nifgam, the Imtim Salomar Shalom Nifgam be Miut Batra, Ema be Etzem Nifgam. The Tarvayu, Eng Shash Isser, Vakol Echadu. There's no significant difference, just like there's no significant difference in the example I gave between 50 Amot and 25 Amot. Right? There's no significant difference between whether the Pagam happened in the Mid Batra or in the Mafreket. Al Panav. Okay? So therefore, it's really one suffix. What's your one suffix? Hold on one second. What's your one suffix? Your one suffix is, was the Sakin Nifgam Bishat Shita or was it not? Whether it was lo b'shat shchita in the miut batra, or lo b'shat shchita in the mafreket, or lo b'shat shchita when I went back home and I put it down on the counter too fast, and then I was pogamit, right? Or if somebody came and sabotaged it to make me learn this siman in the shulchan aruch, what, for whatever reason, that's irrelevant. The question is: Was the sakin nifgam before the heter or after the heter? One question. And anything you say is just trying to confuse things. Mm -hmm. And how do I measure that? I measure that by saying, okay, let's do a test. Can you ask the question in the opposite direction? Okay? This means that if you can ask the question in the opposite direction, that indicates that you have two really independent elements which you have to decide. And that is fake sveka. But if you can't turn the question around, that indicates that your question is fake. And you really only have one suffix. It doesn't, it doesn't work with the case in Ketubot. I know. Hold on. I know. I'm putting it that way on purpose because it doesn't work in Ketubot. Okay. Bati, you had a question? So, Mute Batra, it's after the majority, after you've done the 50, more, like it's 51% right. and onward. Right. So at the 50, after the rove point is passed, the heter shechita is chah. There's no longer an Israel even there's no longer an iser of eating an animal she'en azvucha, even though it's still alive. Okay? Okay. So that's what we have here. Okay? Now, the shach himself in Otet Zion. Um, Tetzayin or Tetvav? Tetvav, sorry. Okay? In says as follows. Um, let me see. Okay. In the, he talks about the case, the case of the Aryeh. Let me see, where's a good place to start? I'll get stuff in the beginning. Mira Lomar. The Shani Hacha Gabi Nishbara Etzem Shesh Beta Sveko Tain Begufa Etzem Imkain, okay. She came and she shnei beguf echad. Man leimalan lahatchil shema achar shchita. Eimal eidach gisa shema yatsa lechutz. V'lo tuchal shuv lomar klal shema achar shchita. Aval hacha, one second. Keshetirza lomar shema tziporen ze miyad ha'arihu. Okay. So here's your question. You have a tziporen in the animal. You don't know whether it comes from the ari or not. In a way that made it a trefa. Okay? So, seven hundred seven are re. Imkain titfos, you be vadain ichnas. Imkain ech titfos, mitchila be vadain ichnas. Al korchach, mitchila tsarich ataladun, im nichnas klal. And this is the case of Ketubot. Olo, the imtin salaman ichnas, shemolo daras, the tsiporin zemi a kotel hu. The afshalotu halofcho. Mikri Shapir Sveik Sveika. It's still a good Sveik Sveika. Kevan Shasafeika Rishon, who Shemelo Nichnas. Okay? So he's saying, sometimes, even if it's Eino Mitapech, it's still a good Sveik Sveika. The case he gives with a lion, but the case in Ketubot is the same. The case in Ketubot is 
Suffolk Bucky, Suffolk Bucky, Suffolk Anu Bucky, and then Suffolk Ona, Suffolk Ratzon. It's true, you can't flip it around and say Suffolk Ona, Suffolk Ratzon, and even if it's Ratzon, maybe Zeno Bucky, because Ratzon assumes that he was Bucky. Onus and Ratzon already assume that he was Bucky. Okay? But it still makes compelling sense to start with the question of does this guy know what he's talking about? is Suffolk Bucky, Suffolk Eno Bucky. And then I should ask Suffolk Ona, Suffolk Ratzon. There's a reason, if I say it's arbitrary, there's no reason to start here, start from the other side. That really shows that it's one Suffolk. So maybe, right, let's not talk about the case of Ketubot. Right? Let's talk about the case of the Aryeh, right? Of, where you just have infinite questions, right? Um, or the case of the Shechita. There, the fact that it's Eno Metapech, there's no Xeris HaKosov that a Sveik Sveika has to be Metapech. Show me in the Torah where it says that. Right? It doesn't say that anywhere. What we, the principle is that a Sveik Sveika, it's going to sound funny, has to be a Sveik Sveika. It has to be two questions. So, so if it's one question, that's shame on Eschadhu. That's what Tosot says. In the case of Suffolk, Ones, Suffolk, Ratzon, and even if it was Ratzon, Suffolk, Gdola, Suffolk, Tana. Right? So Tosa says that's really one question. Shame, Ones, Chadhu. There are really only two questions. There's only two possibilities, whether it was Ones or Ratzon. So that's one type of Eno Metapech. But what the Shach is saying, that if you have a compelling reason to start with one question, then even if it's Eno Metapech, it's still a good Sveik Sveik. Obviously, the Tosot Yishanim disagrees with that, right? Tosot Yishanim says you still have a situation, even though there's a reason to say, start with Petapatuach or not. Nonetheless, since it's, a, and it's not a Sveik Sveika, since it's not Metapech, it's not a good Sveik Sveika, okay? Now, yeah? Is the motivated by the fact that the Gemara doesn't bring the Sveik Sveika? Therefore, it must be yeah, yeah, but there are other terutsum in there. are other terutsum there. It's okay. I mean, well, if you look there, there are other terutsum that he has for it. Where did, so already, already in the time of the Tosfos Shemim, there was this idea of this fake fake amita pech. Where do we see that? It's not there right there. Where do we see that? That's where does that idea of measuring a fake fake against that come into the world? <laughs> because you don't want to be left alone with one suffix. And if, you, if it seems to be arbitrary, you're starting on one side, why should you start on one side and have a head there? You start on the other side, you have an isser, so you can't do that. You've, again, remember I said you have to avoid like the plague being in that dark alley with one suffix, right? So here you can't avoid it because why should you start here? You can start there and then you're up a creek. But are they the, are they the originators of the idea? Yeah, okay. Um, the, the shach, when he even quotes it, in the first piece, he says, um, one second. Okay, yeah. If you look in back in the previous Shach in Otu Gimel, he says, Three lines at the bottom. Well, I'm in the in the printout. I don't know where you are. Okay. Vilachain lo tu chalovcho vatosot mifrashim behedya kol sveik sveik shiyat ayecholovcho lo havi sveik sveika. Avar shachachti hamakom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I just showed you the reason he forgot is it wasn't Tosfot. It was Tosfot Yishanim, and he remembered Tosfot. So he, okay. And I don't know if in his shas if it had the Tosfot Yishanim printed on the page. Okay. But what it really turns into is a sveik and half. Oh, oh, excellent. Because if you look at excellent. like a flow chart, you have one Stop, branch exact, that's exactly what I want to do. That... Right, so let's do it. Okay, look, that's exactly what I want to do now. So let's talk about um, Bucky. Ain't no Bucky. Um, and we said, what was the other one? Ones? Rutson. Okay? We have to, okay? This. It doesn't know. It's just the circumstances that we can create an Isser. That's all I'm interested in. The circumstances that create an Isser. The Bucky Eno Bucky is not on him. It's really on her, so why do they say it on him? It doesn't matter. Because he says this. The question is. Is what, that what the thing is? Did it happen or did it happen? That's right. So you can translate it if you want. 
fine. I'll do it like this. But if it's the court. It's more delicate to talk about Bucky and a Bucky rather than saying Patuach or not. Right? Oh, they're really worried about being. They're really the worried about it. Yeah, yeah. Patuach, <laughs> we'll call it a no Patuach. Okay. Rachel. Okay. Look. So this is the case now, right? What? It's much clearer if you do it as a flutter. I don't know. Okay. I got to just. Sorry. All right. <laughs> okay. So in the case of Bucky. Ba'ones, she's muteret. Okay? Baki biratzon, she's asura. Yeah, there's a muteret. Okay, now. Eino Baki, there's nothing to talk about. You can't talk about ones, and you can't, you can't talk about ratzon, right? Well, there's plenty to talk about, we'll talk about it in therapy. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay? Right, it was Eino Patuach Ba'ones. She really tried, but it's well, okay. Eno, okay, so eno baki it means eno patuach, and onus ratzon is not relevant. So what you really have is these two cases are really one case, right? There's no line there. In reality, this line is an illusion, and it just means basically it's either eno patuach. Or, it's either a no patuach, or patuach ba'ones, patuach ba'ratzon. Those are, so what it, so what, what it, has it come out? If it's a no patuach, she's muteret. If it's patuach ba'ones, she's also muteret. So two out of three, she's muteret. Okay? So here's how it goes. One at, three out of four, classic sveik sveika. Okay? One out of two, that's a suffix, shame on his chadhu. And two out of three is a machloket between the shach and the tos yeah. Okay? One out of two is a suffix, three out of four is mutter, and two out of three is a machloket. Okay? Good. Okay. We'll stop here. This doesn't make any sense. I haven't explained anything. I have not explained anything. Okay? Next week, I will explain this. Okay? Um, okay. Um, next week, Shai Held is coming. He's going to be giving a shear at 6 o'clock for around an hour about Yerig Val Yavor in Malbin Pnei Chavero the Rabin. Here, yes, to this group, to us. I invite him to come. Oh. Okay, so try please very much to come on time. Okay, um, if you want to bring uh, friends. Is he giving sources? Yes, he will send sources. Okay. Oh, okay. Shai Held um, 